kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to create a simple intro slider uh, walkthrough inside your Android application. Okay, so it will be a beautiful and a very simple slider for your introduction uh, inside your Android application. Okay, so first of all let me show you the a demo so let's see here you can see that we, we i will teach you how to create this type of uh, uh, view pager and intro slider walkthrough okay these are the four screens which we are going to develop all right so let's get started first of all what uh, we can do let me disconnect my phone okay so inside our, uh, this is our Android project and first of all let me uh, I have these four images okay icons you can see basically these are the four icons so I will let me just copy all these four icons and let's try to paste inside our drawable directory okay so first of all we need a view pager inside our main activity okay so before that let's try to change the theme to no action bar all right and inside our main activity main.xml file here we just need uh, a view pager okay and we we'll set it to match parent and match parent and only we just need the id so we can say view pager okay that is it inside our main activity the work has been done uh, so now let's go back to our main activity and first of all you need to initialize the view pager so let me initialize it and we can say r dot id dot view pager okay so now we need uh, an adapter you can say the custom adapter so let's try to create a new java class and inside that we can say slider adapter okay so first of all you need is you need to extend it with uh, you can say pager adapter all right so now it is saying that you need to implement the method is view from object so we can say is view from object then we need to override the method get i uh, get count okay and also we will be requiring some more so we can we need to override the method on destroy item and instantiate item okay these four are the method which uh, we need to override them so first of all basically what we are going to do inside our main activity so let's here create a new uh, we can say slider adapter object okay so inside that we can say slider object adapter sorry equals to new slider adapter and inside that we can pass this reference so let we can say view pager dot add okay dot set adapter and we will pass the slider adapter here okay since we are having this error so we will first of all dissolve that so we can create a public class constructor here so we can say public slider adapter and here we can send context okay and here we can finish like context so we can say that this dot context equals to context alright guys after that we will be requiring okay so let's first of all let's say layout inflator inflator okay now we need some uh, arrays okay so first of all we will be requiring uh, an integer array for uh, the for the images okay it will store all the images inside our variable folder after that we will be requiring a string um, a string array which will contain the title of 
these four screens and also we need description array and after at the end we will be requiring the background color array integer integer array okay so first of all let's try to have some <coughs> methods okay i mean the integer array so let's say first of all public int images array okay and inside that we can simply say r dot drawable dot image one first of all then we can say r dot drawable dot image two dot image three and r dot drawable dot image four okay so now we have the images array uh, the next step is we need uh, the title array so we can create a string array similarly just like a teacher array so we name it as title array equals to and inside that we can have our uh, title so first of all let's say facebook twitter instagram google or we can okay okay so we have the title array next thing we need is the description array so we can say description array equals to so for every title uh, we need a description so we can say facebook is the wide is widely used network in the world okay similarly for twitter twitter is the best social network okay so similarly we can say instagram is the most is widely used photo sharing app okay similarly for our google google is the world best search engine all right so now we have the images array the title array as well as the description array next thing we need is the background mm -hmm. color array so we can say public integer background color array and here we first of all need to set the array uh, i mean the color for our first screen so we can say color dot rgb and inside that we can just pass 55 55 and 55 all right the next thing is we need color dot rgb and for that we can say 239 85 85 next thing is we can say color dot rgb 110 49 and 89 okay the last one is color dot rgb and it will be 1189 Okay, it will. It is one eighty-eight and two one two. All right. So now we have these four uh, arrays. So now we just need to set them. So first of all, let's say inside our get count method, we can say title array dot length. All right. And after that, inside our is view from object method we just need to return the view so inside in this case we can say return view equals to linear layout and we can typecast our object here okay so or we can say uh, return view equals to object all right and the next step is inside our instantiate item method now we just need to set them so 
let's come here and inside that first of all we need to initialize our in layout inflator so we can say inflator equals to layout inflator context sorry context dot get system service and we can say context dot layout inflator service after that we need a view object so we can inflate a dot inflate okay so now what we need to inflate is the slide custom uh, layout so first of all let's create a new java resource file okay and let's name it as slide all right so here we have the uh, linear layout and we just need to have some okay so uh, the orientation is already vertical we need an id so we can say linear layout and also we need the gravity it to be centered okay so here first of all we need an image view then we need two text views okay so first of all we can say image view of uh, width will be 200 dp and also the height will be 200 dp okay and let's try to have the id as slide image all right then we need uh, a text view so we first of all can say wrap content wrap content then we need is padding 16 dp and we need the id to be text title and let's try to have text size as 30 sp text color as fff let's make it bold all right and let's just set some text here uh, title here okay so similarly we just need another text view for our description so we can say wrap content text color will be h f f f then we need a, a text description is here our text size then we can set it to 17 sp and we can set text alignment to center and finally we set it the id as text description and let's try to set padding as 16 dp all right guys so that is it for our slide custom layout so here first of all we can say r dot layout dot slide then we need a container and the third one will be false all right so now guys it's time to initialize our uh, view which we created in this slide.xml so for that we can say first of all linear layout linear layout equals to linear layout view dot find view by id r dot id dot linear layout then we need an image view equals to image view view dot find view by id r dot id dot slide image uh, then also we need the two text views so first of all text view t1 title equals to text view find sorry view dot find view by id r dot id dot text title then we need another text view here for our description so we can say text view 
view dot find you by id r dot id dot text description okay so first of all let's try to set the layout color so we can say linear layout dot set background <laughs> color and inside that we can say background color array of type position uh, index position then we can need we can set the image view dot set image resource similarly we can say image uh, images array of index position then we need text uh, the title we need to set it uh, and we can say title array dot of index position and similarly for our description text view we can say description array position all right after we set all the data to the views so finally we need to add the container uh, the views to the container so here we can say container dot add view and inside that we can set our view okay so we and instead of this super method here just you need to return the view object here all right guys so after that uh, inside our uh, destroy item method just remove the super method here and you just need to add container dot remove view and inside that we can say linear layout of type and we will we will type cast the object here all right so that is it it's very simple let me show you uh, the highlights of what we have done so basically first of all we used the view pager here okay and then we try to set it to the adapter which we created okay so it is the custom adapter okay we sent the uh, context here okay after that we had these four uh, arrays okay the images array title array description as well as the background color array after that we just what we did was we uh, in initialized our inflator then we set the view to our inflator and after that we just set the data to our to the uh, views after that we just uh, uh, i mean we just uh, return the view uh, object from here okay and we created the slide uh, custom layout and we inflated it using the layout inflator class okay so that is it let's try to run our application and let's see if it works or not so i have connected my phone okay let's okay let's try to run our application and let's see if it works or not guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe so you can see that our intro is now running inside our application so if i swipe to the right so you can see that all right so if you like the video please like it and subscribe goodbye